All right, so we're back on the uh, 2006 DS250 Can-Am. I got my uh, new Uni uh, filter for my air filter. I'm going to wait on putting that back in um, until after I get some gas through it. I just put about a gallon of gas um, with some varnish cleaner in the tank just to help get it... Uh, any crap that might still be in there loosened up but uh, like I said yeah so yeah the filter just basically the foam filter just slides over the steel case you reuse your case um, the next thing we're gonna do is I did put a little bit of fuel in here so what I want to do is crack this valve open and see if we have any gas leaking out if no gas comes out ooh, guess we're going to need to replace or uh, fix that it's a little brittle so yeah we're gonna just have to check all our hoses while we're at it but uh, yeah so I'll remove this clip and uh, fix that first thing I'm gonna do is crack this valve see if we have any fuel in the bowl I did put some in there I don't know if it actually went in so if we open this up and there's no fuel then we'll go ahead and pull the carburetor off and check the float. I will be right back. I need to get a screwdriver. All right. Oops. Let me get you to stay. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the hose off because, well, it's pretty much useless anyway. And this way we can see if it's actually, oops, dripping. Um, where did that little clip go? That was weird. So somewhere right here is a metal clip that literally just, oh, there it is, I found it. All right, so I found the clip. We'll set it there. All right, so let's just go ahead and see if we have any fuel coming out. Oh, hey, we do have fuel. up and it smells like fuel and it's pretty clean if you look it's not uh, discolored the gloves anyway that's dirt don't look at that one but uh, yeah it looks pretty clean I don't see any dirt stuff on it so that's a plus okay we'll go ahead and just tighten that down for a second all right so I am currently just now waiting for the battery to arrive um, but we can go ahead and check the oil since we're sitting here. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I'm going to say that the oil looks pretty good. It's clear. I don't have any stuff in it. There's no dirt contaminants. I don't see much in there. And it is full. Um, this thing's been sitting here for about two days now. Um, and as you can see, other than where I just dropped gas over here, this is dry. So, it's the motor's not leaking. I think you can see underneath there a little bit. You can see it's not wet underneath it. Um, all right, it looks like our battery came in. So, I already ripped a hole in the newest glove so I didn't get acid all over me. So we don't have to do anything. No, uh, no acid. This is a sealed lead acid. Um, there's the information on it. So let's see here. Uh, it says that I need to charge it for the instructions here. Let's just see here. All right. So it says here I should let the battery charge for at least one to two hours um, initially and uh, go from there. 
So that's gonna be what we're gonna do next. charging for a little while so let's see 12.85 that's oh, so pretty much fully charged all right well I guess next stop into the quad and uh, see if we can get it going all right bear with me So, something that happens from time to time, these bolts just aren't long enough, but if you slide a piece of paper under it just a little bit, you should be able to get that to come out. She runs. What do you know? All right. Well, there she is. I still got to put the uh, air filter back in. Um, I'm going to run some of this seafoam gas through here for a bit. And uh, make sure everything else is working. Make sure the water pump and all the... I think this is water-cooled. It's either water-cooled or it's got a remote oil filter. I can't remember. I know there's a radiator up here. Right there. So I believe it's got some air cooling in here somewhere. Or uh, water cooling. It's been so long since I messed with this thing. But you can hear it running. No, no funny sounds. Big old spider. All right, well, I'm gonna let it run for a bit and then I'll uh, see where I'm at. <laughs> 